Hey guys, Jake here. Welcome to Geeks of the Week. It is Tuesday and I will be your host. So, as you may have realized, this is not my room. This is actually my girlfriend's room because my internet is broken, unfortunately. So, getting that fixed out. But I'm recording here. So, as you can see, new stuff on the walls, new things you guys can look at. All that jazz. It's new and exciting. So I got my stuff to talk about right here. I got my paper list because my phone's being weird too so I can't record it. I can't write stuff on there. That's exciting. So first off, uh, Lulu, I just want to say I'm sorry I didn't know it was Love Live because I've never actually heard the name of the series pronounced. I've always just seen it as Love Live and so I always read it that way. I never actually knew it was pronounced Love Live so I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to offend and I don't want to be the center of a joke because that kind of sucks. And about the whole parental thing about how you're, I'm like your long lost child, well if that's the case I mean I would like some allowance please so I can go spend money please. Mario I just need to say you are a very gruesome person with our big head group thing like crushing people and making their heads and stuff blow up. I mean I want it to be a gang thing but that's it's kind of gruesome. I mean, I'm okay with that, but wow. <laughs> Unfortunately, Nikki couldn't make a video last week because of some family issues. And I just want to say, Nikki, all my prayers are out to you and your family. I hope everything goes okay. And whatever is wrong, just know that we're here for you guys. Steph, I just want to say your video was very interesting and funny yesterday, I thought. I mean, weebs and weebtastic. I thought that was kind of funny at the intro. But since you seem to be on the kind of a uh, theme of weebs and anime and trash and all that kind of stuff, I thought maybe this week I'd talk about my top five animes because I know Lulu and Mario have their kind of lists of like all oh, their top things and stuff like that. And I know Lulu's trying to get in into this thing of saying her list of favorite things. So I thought maybe I'd talk about my top five favorite animes. So these are in no specific order. I have actually like a big variety of like animes that I love. And it's really hard to choose just like one or two specific animes to put them in like the first and second place. So top five, I would say there's no specific order, I just really love these series. Actually one of the very first few series that I saw as a kid that's always stuck with me till a few years ago until the series finally ended, which was Inuyasha. That one was one of my favorite ki uh, series as a child because every morning I'd wake up, go see it on Adult Swim, sneak out of my room and then go watch it and stuff. And that's actually one of the series that got me into anime and cosplay and all that kind of stuff. I never cosplayed it, but it's actually one of my favorite series. Second favorite series would probably have to be a series called Tsubasa Reservoir Chronicles. It is a series made by Clamp and it is actually probably, if I had to put a number on it, I would honestly probably say it was my number one favorite series or number two because this series was actually the series that got me into anime and manga and cosplay and the trash life I live now. It was something that I just happened to stumble across once at Walmart actually in like the book section I found the manga and reading the manga I was like oh this is a really cool book can I get this? And so yeah, I got it and I think I got that in maybe sixth grade so that was 2006 or 5 I think and to this day I still love the series and actually I'm pretty excited because my next convention which is SabakuCon the voice actor for the main character Sharon he is going to be there and I need to get him to sign something because I love that series it's amazing! <laughs> Another favorite series of mine would probably have to be Mirai Nikki or Future Diary because that series it's like a kind of like a murder mystery series I guess you could say adventure and like all those kind of different things but just the way that it plays out and like the concept of oh my phone can tell the future and I gotta fight to the death with it I think is really interesting I've seen that series oh I read the series maybe a few years back and then recent well not recently but found the series a few years later in an anime and I was like oh, this is great and so I personally love that series I think it is amazing it's very 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 well written and they even had an OVA of it and it was beautiful and Future Diary, definitely go check it out if you haven't seen it. I'd highly recommend it. Another series that I really love, I think it's amazing, is the Black Rock Shooter series. Whether it's the game or like the test series or the actual series series, I personally think Black Rock Shooter is a very, very good series. It's not all that long. I think in the actual anime there's maybe like 11 episodes, I think. I could be wrong. But when I first stumbled across it, I thought it was kind of weird. I was like, oh, I don't get this. Two different worlds and stuff like that. 
But after watching it over and over and like reading about it, I personally think it's a very good series. I love the character designs and all this kind of stuff. So I definitely think you should check that one out too. And I think another favorite series of mine would probably have to be Madoka Magica because actually I love the ma whole Magical Girl thing and I think the story is very depressing and amazing and when I saw the movie, I forget, uh, something Rebellion I think, Magical Magica Rebellion, I, I think there was something else in there, I can't remember what the rest of the title was, but after seeing that movie, like, my heart was destroyed and I just fell in love with it even more. And I have a Homer figure coming in soon, which better get here soon. It's already delayed, but I just love this series. I think it's very well written, depressing, and like very dark and kind of all this thing. I mean, it's cute and adorable too. I love it, but there's just like little things that are like, my heart's been destroyed. Okay, so we got a pretty big list of games this week. We have Dying Light, Grim Fandango, Hyperdimension Neptunia Rebirth One, Supreme League of Patriots. Life is Strange Episode 1, Unmechanical Extended Edition, Bit Evolution, Break the Cube, Far Cry 4, Herc Deluxe Pack, Ghost Pirates of Vuju Island, a bunch of Rocksmith DLCs again, Samurai Jazz, TKI Online, Trials Fusion, Fire in the Deep, Wolf the Red Hood Diaries, Destructamundo, Gear Up, Hyperdimension, oh, I already said that one. Um, Hypnosis, Streets of Chaos, Down to One, Forward to the Sky, and Heroes of Might and Magic 3 HD Edition. Those are the games that are coming out this week, like I say in every single video, and no one seems to do it. But anyways, I like to say it anyways. Make sure you guys comment below what games you are excited for, I'd love to check them out. There doesn't seem to be any that I'm excited for, I mean I'll have to look into them more, but other than that, nothing I'm too excited for. Anyways, make sure you comment below games you're excited for, maybe your guys' top 5 animes as well. And actually, I want to hear what the other Geeks of the Week's top 5 animes or shows or something related to weeb trash kind of stuff is their top 5. That would be really interesting to hear, so maybe other Geeks of the Week do that. Unfortunately, that's all I got for this week, so make sure you guys check out our Facebook page, subscribe to the YouTube channel, make sure you check out all the other rest of the Geeks of the Week this week, and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys. Make sure you guys check out our Facebook page. Oh, fuck. Make sure you guys check out our Facebook.